A supermarket car park launch for Labour's woman-to-woman -woman minibus, which will tour target constituencies. It's designed to connect with female voters by focusing on issues like childcare and health. Critics say the plan, the choice of today's location and the pink are patronising. Labour say not at all. It's not reinforcing stereotypes. It's actually conspicuous, it's eye-catching, it's part of the One Nation Labour suite of colours. You know, it's got to stand out from that van over there and all of the others. People have got to see it. And now when it goes around the country, women will know that it's us coming to listen to them. Now, they're partial to pink here in Pudsey, certainly in the run-up to Valentine's Day. This is a marginal seat, a key target for Labour. So is there real love here for the bus? No, I think it's a bit sexist, to be fair. You know, pink women. Don't do it for me. We're all equal, aren't we? Did you vote last time? No. Could this make you vote this time? Probably not, no, I'm sorry. I think it was some beauty kind of van or something like that, what, maybe. Delivering beauty products? Yeah, it might be a beauty product, something. Well, the democracy's beautiful, yeah, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps not surprisingly, spoof images started appearing on Twitter. This is just a selection. Labour insist it's no joke that women just aren't voting enough. One politics lecturer told me the assumption that issues like childcare will engage women and the male dominance of parliament are putting female voters off. They don't particularly like the uh, Punch and Judy style of the House of Commons. They don't particularly like the, the soundbite idea of politics. They don't particularly like politicians. They are amongst the least trusted people in our society. And I think that you have a perfect storm of, of factors there. So keep your eye out for the bus in the weeks ahead. For some, it might look like a delivery van. Whatever people make of it, it needs to deliver votes. Peter Lane, Five News.